Say good morning. We're so happy that you're here. We daily vlogs. So if you like this video, come on back tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Oh, he found the Valentine's candy. It's finding Nemo's newest, biggest fan. Ever since we put on today, he's just like can't keep his eyes off of it. Fun fact. This is my favorite scene in Finding Nemo. I can't even say it because I'm gonna make a cry. Because you start to not hear Nigel and like Nemo is just thinking about his dad and how proud he is. Like he doesn't even care what Nigel's saying anymore and like he fades out and then music fades in. It's special. The Finding Nemo musical needs to come back to Animal Kingdom so you can watch it and be so happy. And be so happy. Hi, Evers. Good morning. So James liked Snow White and Pinocchio. Today is Fantasia. Um, honestly, I feel like he's gonna like it because he's like into, I don't know, he's like into visuals and music and stuff. I feel like he's gonna like it. Um, but Nemo has been a hit today. I uh, also have gotten a couple of comments that not everybody caught that we had revealed Teddy, our new baby's name. Um, let me turn down the TV for a sec. Yes, yeah, so during the marathon vlog, Peter had talked about how next there'll be challenge that not only would James be at the finish line, but Teddy too. And his full name will be Theodore Joseph Brookhart. Um, and then I went on to explain his name on social media, but I realized a lot of people aren't on social media. So Theodore is after one of our very favorite literary film characters. <laughs> you gotta see how cute this kid is real quick. Hi, you on your chair? <laughs> so Theodore is after Theodore Lawrence, who is from Little Women, um, and we will call him Teddy, as they do in Little Women. Um, one of our very favorite characters, one of our very favorite stories, um, and so that is where his first name comes from, and obviously we just really, really love the name. Um, and then his middle name is Joseph, after my grandpa Joe, who is my dad's dad. And what's really cool about that name is... You need your sack off? What is cool about that is my grandpa Joe, went by Joe, but his, his name was Patrick Joseph Ryan. And so... <laughs> for um be careful <laughs> be careful up there are you playing with laundry I'm trying to film something here um his middle name was Joseph so he he went by Joe but his his, actually, his middle name was Joseph. So it's kind of special that Teddy and him will have shared the same <laughs> middle name. Um, but everybody called him Joe. So that is where his name comes from. It's also pretty cool that um, in Little Women, Josephine March, she's, um, I would say, like the main character, the main 
um, daughter in the story. Um, and it's kind of cool. It's like Theodore Joseph Brookhart, even though Joseph isn't Josephine, she re she goes by Joe. So it's kind of cool that both of those characters who mean so much to each other in the story, that both of their names are kind of in Teddy's name. So that is where his name comes from. Um, super special. I feel like it's a super strong name. Um, and... Uh, I mean, I feel so lucky that we have we we have no trouble picking names. We've had names picked out forever, and obviously naming James after my dad was so cool and um, just again special. But it is it was fun to to finally get to use a name that like we have we came up with. May I help you? And I totally forgot to mention that Peter's coming out. I had shared why we were calling, like why we named Teddy, Teddy. Yeah, because I realized we only did on social media. Um, but I forgot to mention that I had a really sweet relationship with my Grandpa Joe. He passed away when I was in sixth grade, but still just like a really special relationship. And there was so much that my dad passed down to Peter from my grandpa and so just a special guy and a special name. He hasn't been paying attention to most of this movie but the second Mickey was on the screen he stopped in his tracks. Welcome to day two of the vlog. What? We did never... Said nothing. We never said nothing. Day two of the same vlog. <laughs> the baby's reaching for burger fi. Are we going to Vegas this year? We are. Let's eat these burgers first. I got a veggie burger. Sarah got a real burger. James, french fry time. So I got a veggie burger with a Beyond patty as well. And hash browns. On your burger? Yeah. I got... A Wagyu spicy burger. It's got like all kinds of jalapenos and deliciousness. Yeah. James got a bunch of dipping sauces for the French fries. <laughs> Look at this fluffy duck. He just woke up from quite a late nap, but he got good rest. Peter just went to Jewel um, to do our grocery shopping. Finally, my anxiety is just still something to be reckoned with. Um, so he decided to go. I had every intention of going during the day. Um, but our day just, it got away from us. And then when I went to go, he said he would go. He was done with work. So there's that. We are not doing Green Chef anymore. We have officially deactivated it. Um, we had a busy couple of weeks and I had to freeze a couple of the meals. And I just feel like I've been excited to cook again and found some new recipes, especially with us wanting to be totally plant-based at home. So there's a little update on that. I'll probably do still a couple more um, examples of their meals because we still have some frozen. And James just woke up and he's been, he's been on a Toy Story kick lately. So we're going to watch that and I'm probably going to wash some bottles. Bleh. <laughs> James. <laughs> You're funny. Your eyes looking better. Way less red. <clears throat> we just always have them. Those bags. <clears throat> Sorry, you got those for me. The strap of the camera's the battery, interesting. Mm -hmm. um, so we were just talking today about how easy it was living so close to Disney World. And it's very cold here. And we want to do some intentional and fun things at home. Especially on a Friday night. 
So if you guys would in the comments, I'd really appreciate any ideas of like what you do for fun at home. We're just like not, we love home, but like we, I wouldn't say like we're home bodies. Like we like to go and do stuff. And I know we live in a big city and there is a lot to do, but just like this time of year, and then especially with having another little one coming, like we're gonna be home a lot after the new baby's born. So, game recommendations, maybe some puzzles. I don't know, like what do you guys, what do you do at home? Okay, first, first you got traumatized with the garbage inferno scene. And now Andy's about to say goodbye to the toys. Are you ready? I successfully went to Jewel, which we've been pushing off for almost a whole week now. Yes, <laughs> we did it. We did it. You want to see what's in here? What? This is our hack for the um, sensory bin. bin. Yeah, the, he played with it once and we realized this is not sustainable. <laughs> and we realized we had the uh, ball pit that we can put him in the ball pit to play with the sensory bin that he loves. <laughs> <gasps> you want to eat some spinach? Yeah, those look more. Oh, you want peppers? There's cookies in the bottom. <laughs> That's what I was going for. I got two sets of cookies for you. Um, so today was like a weird Friday. It's been still a weird week, guys. Uh, we got stuff going on. Yeah. Yeah. So we got we got stuff going on that's preoccupying us. But we're being preoccupied a little bit. But we're still getting back to being healthy, and I'm getting back to working out. I signed up for a bunch of Orange Theories. My first is tomorrow. I got pulled in front of that wait list there for the 90-minute class. Oh, really? So I'm super nervous. And I've never been to one. I texted Carolyn. I was like, what is in this? And she didn't realize I had to wear a mask because it says, like, mask required, which I've always had to here in Chicago. And she was like, oh, my gosh, you're doing Orange Theory with mask on? And I was like, yeah, got to do what you got to do. Um, so Sarah's going to make a taco salad... We got, got that burger fry later. So. Got, yeah, burger fry came in later. Got right at 2 a.m. We got to unpack our groceries. Got to eat a cookie. Got to drink some water. Got to just be happy and be I positive. I also asked for like suggestions of what we should do at home. Yeah. Because we're not used to this. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, it's beautiful and 80 and this is great and everything. Even when we're sick, we can walk the dog and look at Magic Kingdom. And then we come back to Chicago and it's like... Salt and gray it was and more cold and it was six degrees when we woke up the other day. So, like, James woke up the other day at like five and Sarah like hit me and was like, "It's five degrees." I was like, "What?" How's that cookie? Hmm. Good. I'm not sure what you want me to do. Hmm. I'm not sure what you want me to do. <laughs> Peter's fighting with Alexa. We're having a little veggie <laughs> sushi. I helped you, honey. It's good, right? Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're having a little veggie sushi for uh, appetizer, and I realized I never said how much I loved Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. I feel like I had low expectations, and I like really, really enjoyed it. It's not what I had expected it to be. Um, and I won't. I mean, I put some clips in, but I thought it was gonna be like a big room with big screens. And I feel like it was like the perfect mix of screen and movement and actual like props and stuff. Um, I really enjoyed it. I thought I might get motion sickness, but I didn't. Um, but if you like movement and screens does that to you, then you probably will. Um, but yeah, I thought it was so great. I love the music from Ratatouille and um, I love the characters and I just love the whole France feel. And um, I can't wait to go on it again because I feel like there's so many little details that I missed out on. Um, just because like your first ride, it's like hard to take everything in. Um, but I'm hopeful James E. soon will be able to put on 3D glasses so that he can go on too. All right, I'm going to do a super informal <laughs> grocery haul. It's mostly vegan. There are a couple of things right now that I really just like, <clears throat> I don't know, I'm just, I'm not as dedicated as Peter is in this moment. And there's just a few things that like, I either really have a taste for or I really liked this pregnancy that I'm just sticking to that's not plant-based. 
but a mostly plant-based grocery haul. And again, it's gonna be informal. There is formula, dust on the stove. We're, we're just getting through at the moment. So we have some watermelon, these Santitas chips. I like, I got them before because they're a deal compared to Tostitos, but everyone in our house really likes them. So we stick with those. And then some berries, that's different. We also got Fritos, which are like key to the taco salad I will be making tonight. So I'm gonna keep that out. Everything else I'm like also putting away at the same time. All right, so after I started pulling stuff out, I thought it would be a little bit more like organized to say some of the things that I plan on making. Um, and again, I haven't done a big grocery haul like this in a while and I'm just hoping I can stick to it. Um, and I've just been excited about some recipes I've seen. And so my plans are to make gumbo, vegan gumbo. Um, there was a sausage, a plant-based sausage that Peter's gonna look for at Whole Foods tomorrow. The other like exciting thing is vegan Swedish meatballs. So that'll be something I've never tackled before that I'm actually taking like a non-plant-based recipe and making it plant-based. So that sounded really yummy. I also just ordered like lingonberry jam from Amazon that like you could typically get from Ikea so that'll be coming this weekend and then two easier like just normal things I've made before which is the taco salad and then deconstructed veggie sushi bowls so basically like the veggie sushi that we had just now cucumber um, carrot all that sort of good stuff just in a bowl with a spicy vegan mayo um, and then everything else is like quick lunch stuff Peter really likes um, on a tortilla just putting like hummus and spinach and banana peppers and that being just like good fuel for him so he's gonna get back into eating that and then just good fruits and veggies to snack on as well I also got a cereal so I, okay now I feel a little bit less like this will be a little bit less chaotic because at least you know like the general plan. Um, yeah, here we go. We have tortillas, but I also got tostadas because I feel like that's like another easy thing that we can put like refried beans on, top it with veggies and have a good lunch. Bagels, I've been on a big bagel kick. We got normal, we have had normal cream cheese. So that is something that I'm sticking to that's not plant-based. Got some serious impossible meat. That's for the meatballs. And then for the first time in so long, got some chicken. I have been craving my like crock pot salsa chicken where you just put it in a crock pot, dump salsa on it. I've been craving that like and shredding it. So got that. I don't think that Peter will be eating that. But that could also be good just for me to have for some lunch. Again, I'm just listening to my body. Um, this is the cereal. It actually, I looked at the ingredients. It looks like it is plant-based. So whatever sort, yeah, like the chocolate in it doesn't have any dairy. So that is nice. Um, these are the noodles that we're going to use for the Swedish meatballs. Rice for the sushi bowls. And then here is our plant-based milk situation. I find that cooking with oat milk, it has the least sweetness. It, it gets the creamiest, and so I prefer to cook with oat milk. We are starting to, like, I don't know what the word is, like, give James less formula, um, but still want a nice nutritional milk for him and we are going to steer clear of cow's milk so we're going to try and see if he likes the soy milk it has great protein got some veggie broth that is for the sauce for the swedish meatballs some beans that is for the gumbo um everything but the bagel seasoning can be used so many ways we just ran out i've never actually bought vegan mayo um so that's going to be for the sushi like spicy mayo i'm going to put on top and then banana peppers i can eat these things by the forkful and then tomato puree 
I'm not sure what I wanted this for, but you can never have too many canned tomato goods in my eyes. All right, we got two different kinds of cookies. I've been on a cookie kick lately. So there's that. Um, roasted garlic hummus and honey. We have not had honey in a long time. It's one of those things that is not considered vegan. And that is because it is created by an animal. It's technically an animal product. Um, but I recently saw this really cool TikTok that was talking about like obviously there's so many benefits to plant-based but that there are many things that are plant-based that are unethical or you know like a lot more goes into it as far as like in big corporations that like aren't necessarily like the best for the environment and it was just like a really interesting if I can find it I'll link it below but it was just sort of, it was more so saying that like plant-based isn't necessarily the best, but that eating local and supporting local grocery shops and farms and just people in your, where you are, um, has a better effect on the environment than strictly just being plant-based. And I just really like that. Like, plus I know that there's so many things with honey that like, can help like if you get local honey like that can help your allergies and um just like little things like that so it is great like i know every family is different everybody needs to do what's best for them um and listen to ourselves and like how we're feeling and what like honestly like sometimes eating out is better for us mentally than cooking like we just went through that phase of of cooking really being a, a mental hurdle for me that Sometimes like buying paper plates to not have to do the dishes is better for you Because of the effect that it has on you mentally and physically and all these other things. So I just think it's nice to have an open mind and It is fun to have honey again because I'm gonna be I got like a lot of fancy tea for Christmas I know that um, I don't know it just has a lot of benefits too so I'm just pumped about honey, okay? And then last we have our fruits and veggies. Got some tomatoes, carrots. I did get shredded carrots for the sushi situation, so that cuts out a step for me. Um, there's parsley, then we have potatoes, limes, Brussels sprouts, basil, mushrooms, blueberries, romaine hearts, which we'll use tonight with our salad, cucumbers, yellow onions, spinach, and green peppers. And that's it. So gotta get, gotta get this put away and start cooking. It is 8.20. So I'll probably not do the chicken tonight. I'll just do like our standard burrito bowl that we've done in the past. Jamesy did have a really late nap. So I'm still gonna be speedy um, and get to cooking. But I have a feeling it might be a later night. Okay, James just took like two steps towards me and then I called Sarah out freaking out and he did the same thing to Sarah. And the key so far has been these fun sunglasses. I'm gonna see if I can get him to do it again and also see if I can get it on the vlog because this is amazing. Hey, Jamesy. Jamesy. James. Come here. It's a girl. Come here. Well, it has failed to the likes of the pop trolls. So for my beans, I have this black beans, some garlic, a little bit of onion, and some adobo sauce. Here's Evie's favorite part. <laughs> Green peppers. And for my fajita peppers, I like to use the Chipotle copycat recipe, which is onions, peppers, um, I forget, it might be lemon juice. I have lime, so I did limes, salt, pepper, and then a ton of oregano. And it already smells so good. Again, I said this was gonna be as quick as could be. So I have this Southwestern style quinoa brown rice from Target, it's 90 seconds in the microwave. I made this vegan mayo ketchup hot sauce topper. It also has some seasoned salt in it. Um, my sister Christina makes this all the time. I forget exactly what it's called, but 
I'll just call it the Christina, the Christina dip. Um, to go on top, we have our lettuce cut and ready, as well as some um, cherry tomatoes and limes. And here's our final meal. What do you think? We mentioned that we're going to Vegas this year because we bought tickets to the When We Were Young Festival. And we know that it's, what's the right word for it? I just think because they haven't released like the how many stages and, and there's not a lot of details timing of it. We know there's 60 bands playing in 12 hours, which is logistically a nightmare. Yeah. They added a second day of the same people. It's not like and they, they like it. announced it during the ticket sales and it's been going all over the internet and like people had a really hard time getting tickets. Can you take that Did, out of your mouth? Is there anything in his hand? I don't know. Go check. So it's all of like the Nothing. punk rock and emo bands from our like <laughs> middle school and high school era. But we have a goal. We have a few bands that we were like, okay, if we see them, it'll be a success. We're going to be in Vegas for, it's only a one day of concerts. But we're gonna be there for like five ish days yeah, with friends too, um, so that'll be fun. We to... booked our accommodations already. We just haven't yeah. booked flights yet because we actually like, we just have like low expectations because we are going to have two babies with yeah. us under we're gonna have a, two, almost a two year old and like a five month old. Yeah, so we we're be... not going to be. Yeah, we're not gonna be like we're gonna up be... close. We're going to be the first ones leaving that place. <laughs> yeah. Because we'll be there so we all the way by the fence. But we figure if it doesn't work out and things don't go right, at least we'll have, you know, a five five days out west. Who knows? We might try to go to the Grand Canyon. Yeah. Leave us like, some comments down below about suggestions of what we should do. Maybe Joshua Tree. There's like an aquarium in Vegas, I think. I have, like, okay, I won't. I won't mention. Okay, I'll just say because I didn't say to you. Like, what if we flew to Anaheim? For a day. For a day. Or drive. Like, Jared we and Britt and Jared drove there. <laughs> yeah. From Vegas. And it's like a three hour drive from Vegas. Yeah, so we can rent a car, drive there. Yeah, so <gasps> oh there is gosh. that option too. Um, so yeah, that is happening, which. This clip we, is very long. We, My arm's getting very tired. <laughs> sorry. We didn't even think today that we were going to. I thought because it was going to be such a, like a one day, two babies, we weren't going to do it. And then we're in a group chat with some friends that were like, here. It's an hour until ticket sales, and we're like, ah, oh, well, let's do it. And then we did it. So, yeah. So, we got tickets. Vegas in October. <laughs> and so, we're listening to music <laughs> of all the bands. That's why we had the used on just yeah. now. It is late, but James is finally asleep. It was a doozy. Took me a while. Um, I'm finally, I have one last little bit to unpack. Took us a whole week, but we made it. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>